Intuitive Edge here. Welcome to my channel. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. So today I want to look at Judge Sullivan and what's been going on with that. As we know, the Department of Justice dropped the case against General Flynn because they had no case. And there's a judge that is stepping in going, no, 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 you can't do that. Um, we're going we're gonna to try this other little way to keep things alive and keep things going. My question is, is Judge Sullivan, who's doing all of this, is he going to be successful in his attempts to stall, delay, thwart justice for General Flynn? Is it going to work? So I want to lay out the cards. We'll get started. Okay, so I shuffled up the cards and I did a 10 card spread, just kind of an overview of this whole thing. So first card out, first card out is a reversed tower. Now, when I see the reverse tower, there's some people have different interpretations of this. I kind of tend to think of it as things going from bad to worse. Um, the tower is being really bad, you know, things kind of falling apart, blowing up, bad to worse. Okay. Um, now we've got the emperor crossing it, the emperor. So I'm thinking with this thing going from bad to worse, we've got this emperor figure, could be represented by Judge Sullivan. This is a take charge. I'm in charge, I'm in control, I'm an authoritarian kind of feel with this card. And that's what's crossing this, this blowing up, things going from bad to worse. Now, when I flipped over the card up crowning it, kind of what we know, what's going on above, I have the Ace of Pentacles here. Now with this, I saw like some something new coming in, like new procedures, new rules, um, something about trying to make it fit and so when I look at this um, that that coin up there and you look at the little hole, the little uh, wreath thing down here and I kind of saw like trying to make it fit make new rules and make them fit I also got uh, there's some white on that card down below also and I got the sense of like whitewashing. It just that's the term that came to me. Like something being whitewashed, trying to make fit, but making new rules. Underneath this, we have a reversal on the six of cups. This is a card of innocence. And when you have a reversal, it's like trying to either prove your innocence. This is what's led up to this. This is like this whole question of someone being innocent kind of being called into question, okay? That's kind of what's led up to this, is we're calling that into question, that you're really not innocent, okay? That General Flynn really isn't innocent, that's what's being called into question. Um, now, fading into the background is her reversed empress. So when I tuned into this card, this reversed empress, I was drawn to her neck and that necklace around her neck. And it kind of, it kind of looked to me in my mind's eye like a, like a, like jaws, like not a shark, but like, like a pair of jaws trying to devour this figure in this picture. Now the Empress, this is a card of taking care of yourself. And when it's reversed, it's like you're not able to rest, you're not able to recuperate, you're not able to take the necessary time to get yourself back into balance. And this is like keeping that perpetual, I can't get, I can't relax, I can't get my life back together, I can't, and it's like this, these jaws are like ready to just devour. Um, so I feel like General Flynn is in that position now. It's like these forces around here are trying to silence, devour him, keep him down, not let him go forward with proclaiming his innocence, um, keep, keep that cloud of suspicion over him. But that's also fading into the background. This is on the card of the past. So as we work through the bridge, which is that judge, the judge is the bridge. He's the emperor sitting across that tower. With him sitting, that's the bridge. We get into the future card, which is our another cups, our reverse seven. Hmm. Now this is interesting because this is done when I asked the question. I was asking specifically about the judge. Is the judge going to be successful in what he's attempting to do? 
Now, interesting with this Seven of Cups reversed. This can be like, this card is like you've got too much going on. And the reversal. I wanted to pull out the little the little booklet card because I love these little booklets. Sometimes they just give little nuggets. It's like, yeah, that's exactly where. It's... Anyway, this one says feeling shut out of a situation on the reversal. An inability to decide or feeling like you're out of options. Now, for those that have been following this case, that makes a lot of sense because what they're trying right now with, with filing the amicus brief and then having this other judge come in and try to argue why the Department of Justice should not drop the case against Flynn, it feels like that's like a last ditch effort. This is like we're out of options. The Department of Justice gave their opinion. They dropped the case. Oh, you know, what, what do we have left? What recourse do we have left to keep the lid on General Flynn? <laughs> Well, let's try this. It's like, this is the last straw, last effort. And that's on the future. That's on, this is it. But it's also, according to the book here, they said, like, your last ditch effort, your last straw, last resort. Interesting. So the next question, well, the next card in this in this question is on the position of, of, of the judge himself. And now we've got the reversed Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about working on something. Your reversal, it's like things not working out the way you want. That's that reversed eight. It's like, we're, it's not quite working out the way we want. Not working out. So I'm wondering if there's an aspect of this reversed cups on the future, like our last ditch effort trying to get something going but feeling kind of shut out. Like it's not quite going to work out. There's a message on the environment. So there's something that's coming that we don't have all the pieces yet. There's something coming. There's... That's what messengers tell us. That's going to maybe clarify or shed light on the situation a little further. But also Knight of Cups, that's a card of about making an offer, an offer being made, a deal being made, something that's going to be coming in that's going to redirect. Okay, I had to sit with that card for a minute and just kind of feel into it. So this Knight of Cups, a card about an offering bringing something to the table. I do think that it's that new, that judge, that Judge Sullivan appointed. I think his name's Gleason. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm trying from memory. <laughs> I think it was Judge Gleason's going to be the one arguing the case. And I, I sense him bringing this to whatever, when, wherever he argues that from. He's going to be bringing his offering, his case forward. Okay. I get the sense of kind of trying to push something through or push, like, being really forceful with it. Like, like, a, like really forceful. It's not just, oh, here's our, here's our thoughts. Here's what we think. It's like, no, this is, there's some, some type of uh, energy of like pushing it through, like really forceful. So he's going to be a kind of a real bulldog with it, feels like. It's probably why he was picked. <laughs> Anyway, he's gonna be a real, a real, a real pusher. So we have two more cards to look at. This next one is in the position of of hope, spheres, inner the inner world. What what do you hope on the inside? <laughs> now we have the reverse devil. Reverse devil card is about well, devil is about bondage. Material bondage, addictions. And the reversal of the devil is like being set free from bondage. And with that in the position of what you fear the most, could be about General Flynn being exonerated, freed from being in this perpetual bondage that he's been under. It sounds like that's the driving motivation is to not let that freedom happen with that devil card stuck there okay last card we have the magician reversed a lot of reversals here not quite a majority but a lot we've got the magician reversed magician is about using your power wisely to affect your world around you in a positive way but as a reversal it's like you're not not using your power correctly. 
there's also an energy with the way these cards are set up that the magician has got his arm up and he's pointing directly back to the devil card, like trying to affect that, that fear. I get that fear of General Flynn being set free from bondage makes a lot of people really afraid. And I'm thinking that that, that that is that is such a strong motivator, which is probably why that card is in that position as a major arcana. And it's like that magician card is like drawing from that fear and doing in in trying to put hit its power forward. The magician having that power to move things and control outcomes. And it's like you're drawing from a fear, a place of fear to try to push what you're trying to do forward. So is it going to be successful? So I look at the bottom card, the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is very decisive, taking action, being uh, very astute, very cunning, very smart. There's a lot of reversals in this spread but a lot of energy on it also. There may be some measures of success, and I might have to do another video on Flynn to kind of see where what energy is gonna follow him. Cause this is this has got a lot of positive, or not positive, a lot of strong energy on keeping Flynn locked down. Okay. Um and that well, it'll have to, I think it'll hinge on this Gleason guy. And what he, how he presents his case, because he's going to like push it through like a, like a bull in a china shop. He's going to push it on through. He's going to be really relentless. Um, but it, it does, it does feel like there's not a solid case. It's when you've got these this feeling of my, uh, this is our last ditch effort. We got to throw something out there and things not quite working out the way we want. I wonder if there's, if it's, if it's going to try to be shoved through because we can't, it's not working the way we want it to. So we're just going to, you know, use a, use a plow and plow our way through. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel with this. So I may, I may have to, uh, I may do pull just a few cards next on Flynn just to see how it's going to end up for him to get the full picture. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. I did a little horseshoe spread for General Flynn and all of the cards are reversed except one. I have a majority of reversals. That typically tells me that things that are happening right now, that the situation's probably going to change in a big way. And so it's like you're looking at it now and you're asking your questions now, but what's coming is going to shift possibly. This is, this is possibly what happens. But when I, when I usually get a, re, a majority of reversals, it tells me that there's something that's going to change the premise of the question. So I don't know if that means a pardon is going to like, you know, it, it makes what you're asking kind of moot, right? If, if, there, if, it's, if there's, for instance, I don't know if that's going to happen. But for instance, if President Trump just threw in the, you know, Scott Sigmund said, just fine, you're pardoned, then it doesn't matter what we ask about you know, how, what's going to be happening with the judge and all of that, is if you, if that happens, then it's over technically kind of thing. Um, but anyway, I've got a majority of reversals. Um, sometimes when I get majority of reversals, I just reshuffle and ask a different question or ask the same question in a different way. <laughs> but all I did was ask about what's going to be taking place with General Flynn, where he's at right now. That's, there's really no other question to ask. So I'm thinking that there's something maybe that's waiting in the wings that's going to kind of maybe shift or change the trajectory of what's taking place. But regardless, um, so I'm not clear on that, on what that is. 
the old, I'll just tell you, the, the only card that was not reversed was a major arcana, and it was on the question of General Flynn's attitude right now. And this is actually really encouraging because he's got the strength card. I'm using my cat deck. Switch decks. But it's got the strength card. That actually was like, wow, okay, he's feeling coming from a better place. I know this has been very stressful for him, but for some something's giving him hope to carry on and have strength through this. So maybe he knows that, you know, whatever, maybe something is, maybe he's got a defense that's going to be, you know, kind of put this thing to rest. Maybe he knows he's going to be exonerated. Maybe he's got information that's that he's going to be okay. But something's giving him strength to carry it through. On the past, we had the reversed five of C. This is, yeah, this is like really having a tough time emotionally. Cups are about emotions. That cat there, as you can see, I'll show it to you up, right? That cat, you know, fell in a pool, doesn't look too happy. It's like... Yeah, kind of a bad situation. The present is this <laughs> reversed wheel of fortune. Wow, imagine that. This is the wheel of karma, fate, things going, you know, the way they're supposed to, regardless of what happens. And this is like reversals, like things are, there's efforts being made to control the outcome of how things are supposed to happen, <laughs> which is exactly what we're seeing with, um, you know, him being, the case dropped, but oh wait, no, we're trying to control the outcome of that. No, uh, immediate future. This is the four of earth, the card of security, holding on to things that are yours, things that belong to you. And having that, even that be in question, it's like not feeling secure. This is a card of security, feeling grounded and it's like things are still up in the air. I'm not secure yet. But he's got that strength card right next to it on how his attitude is right now. Now, the hidden influence, this was kind of interesting. We've got the burden card, the ten of fire, ten of wands. You're carrying a load, carrying a burden, but it came in reversed, which generally to me means um, the burden is being lifted. Now, in this deck, the cats are scurrying because... This is like, uh, there's so much going on, this trauma of the things blowing up, right? <laughs> but, and it's reverse. Like, things are, things are getting, going a different direction, getting better, generally. The burden is lifting. That's usually what I associate with that 10. The, out, the uh, obstacle he faces, we've got a messenger reversed. We've got, this, again, all these cards were reversed, except for the one. I'll show it to you upright though. We've got that fire kitten. That's the page of wands, another messenger on the out, the obstacle. The outcome is the queen, I'll get to that next. But the obstacle, now it's interesting. This, <laughs> this kitten is playing with the candles, like you're playing with fire, you gotta be careful you don't get burned. And you've got, your tail being singed because you're not paying attention. You're not. You're being careless. And it's like you. You got you when you're working on something. You got you can't be careless. So this is like being careful. Also with this card, just the sense I get in this position of the obstacle he faces. As I'm looking at this cat, this cat's playing with the flame. You could also look at it as the cat trying to douse the flame put that flame out and there it's nighttime you can see with the the stars around the cat like the darkness and this just feels like what the obstacle he's facing is that there's a dark that, that darkness that's trying to swallow him up and put the flame out trying to keep him under wraps trying to keep him from um you know being freed basically out it's trying to oppress him he's got that weight on him okay He's got forces trying to keep him down. Okay. The outcome for Flynn, again, another reversal. The, so that's what I'm saying. There's got to be something in the wings that's going to shift the trajectory of where this is headed because it's just, yeah. Anyway, I've got the Sky Queen. I'll show it to you upright. It's just easier. <laughs> but this card here, the Sky Queen, she's... When she's reversed, she can be devious, you know. I'm just wondering what this is because 
those it's like that there's something something there's something else I, I'd love to put my finger on it because <laughs> I just sense there's something else that's going to shift how this is gonna go whether it's the testimony from that 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 lawyer I was gonna call him sleazy I probably shouldn't <laughs> but that lawyer that's coming in he I mean I guess it's just because of that bullish like being bully ish that sense I got with that other card on the last spread anyway but look at this card underneath this is a cat lying in wait for a mouse or a rodent to come scurrying out so it can pounce. <laughs> That's what's underneath all of this. It's like, we're going to sit here and do everything we can to squash you once you come out of your hole. He's, there's a lot going on in this with this General Flynn thing. There's I think there's more than meets the eye. Um... He's got his work cut out for him. He's he's not out of the woods by any means. And even if he does get out of the woods, I hope he's got good protection around him. Because it seems like he's got a target on his back. If I were able to talk to him, I don't know how open he is to spiritual kind of stuff. You know, maybe he's, maybe he's got faith in God or whatever, but I don't know. But if it were me, I would, I would focus on, um, like Reiki. Um, he's got to cut some cords. There's, there are some t definite dark ties to him that are trying to put the noose around him. Like with the last when I was looking at the Empress on the last one and I kept seeing this thing around his neck that wanted to devour He's, he's got to cut those ties. That's what I see. Um, I mean, if you were a client of mine, I would be saying, you know, you got you to gotta find a, a Reiki in your area, someone that does Reiki that can help sever those ties. Because cause this, this feels like there's more, this is like a spiritual battle. This isn't just a, a guy trying to proclaim his innocence. And there, there is a, there is something else that is pushing this and driving this. And it's, it's spiritual in nature and when you're when you're in a spiritual battle you can't just use tools in the natural you got to use spiritual tools and reiki is one of those reiki can shift the energies around you reiki a reiki good reiki master can come in and cut the cords that are that are you know maybe a psychic attack i think he's under psychic attack i think he's got forces and people that are that are projecting onto him to keep him bound and and under wraps and this is a spiritual battle that he's got to fight he's got to fight it with spiritual tools reiki being one there's other methods too there's there's other type of he healing modalities but he's he's got to sever those um my opinion so that's what i would tell him but i don't know if he listens to me probably not <laughs> but anyway that's what i would tell him so Okay, that's all I have for this. Um, I hope he does well. I hope the truth comes out. That's where I side. You know, I don't care personalities. I want the truth, whatever the personality. So that's that's where I stand. Okay, hope, uh, hope everyone's doing well. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.